Hi guys! So today we are doing a funnel pour. Um, I wanted to try it again. I wanted to do kind of like a galaxy painting. My son likes galaxy painting so I wanted to do another one for him. Um, you know, just try it out. And um, I, I've tried cut pours, cut pours don't work for me, but for some reason funnel pours are okay. <laughs> so this time I was trying with uh, these colors wanted to see how they would turn out and I just got in some Amsterdam titanium white so I wanted to practice with that I wish I would have added more of that in there but I wasn't sure what it would do so again you know it was all a practice run but yeah I wish I would have added more because it was it turned out amazing yeah you guys will see it was wow <laughs> but the the white against the red was just amazing but somehow with the funnel pours the colors don't get all screwy like they do in cut pours. A at least for me, they get screwy. So I I'm not sure how that ends up that way, but it does. So, um, but yeah, this, this one turned out a lot better than I could have imagined. And the Umber that I used in there ended up being kind of like asteroid rocks and stuff so I thought that was pretty cool so what I what I'm doing here was I was just letting it out slowly lifting it up little by little and then as I pulled up the funnel and I have that in quotes because what I'm using is a half of the bottle from a old Mountain Dew bottle um, I uh, kind of gave it like a little twist to do like a little design I guess and then um, I am putting paint around the edges so I don't so the paint doesn't eat itself up as it goes around the edges if that makes sense I just want it to spread as it saves the design because if you um, as you stretch it if you don't have paint on the edges then it will swallow itself up and we don't want to do that we want to save the design that we have here now what I'm doing is I'm just going to go from one corner spread it out and then we're going to go to the opposite corner and spread it out just taking the weight of the paint and all this is sped up now the paint is moving very nicely it's not it's not too thin not too thick if it was too thin, then it would be, it would have moved way too fast. It's pretty much just the right consistency, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> I have a hard time sometimes with consistencies. Oh, great. That's probably a delivery. Sorry, I'm not editing that out. Because, yeah, I'm not redoing my voiceover for that.
But yeah, so you just go from one corner to the other. And then it just looks beautiful. I love how the middle, I was able to keep that. It ended up looking like a nice little asteroid in the middle. And then you have like, um, it almost looks like a solar flare. With the colors around the asteroid. This is why I called it the asteroid belt. Ended up looking amazing. And then I wish I would see I, here. I'm trying to keep that red with the um, Amsterdam white at the very top, but it didn't come back down. So I ended up losing that. But it did end up going on the sides, which was the the sides of this painting look amazing. So you know, if anyone likes to check out the sides of the painting, they look stunning. This one, this painting will not ever be framed and if it is framed then it's sad because then you lose the awesome sides now here I'm just um, filling in the corners making sure you get all the corners that's definitely an important part But yes, if I would have used more of that titanium white, then I would have gotten more lacing throughout the painting. So you guys will definitely be seeing more of me using the titanium white. Because I am loving the effect of what I'm getting with that. So I'm excited to start experimenting with that. It's very cool about how it uses that without using, how it does that without using silicone. Because I'm sure you guys know by now, I do not like using silicone in my paintings at all. Because I mean, you just, I don't know, I don't like having to clean the paintings afterwards. I just like leaving them natural and, you know, I don't know what silicone is going to do to paintings over time. Just make sure you clean your paintings, the edges, when you're all done, or else you're going to have paint dripping off the sides. And then use your torch to make sure you get all those air bubbles out. And now we're going to go in for the wet reveal. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Got that awesome solar flare going on there. And the umber is just beautiful. You can see that ultramarine blue in there as well. Yeah, I'm very happy with this painting. And look at the sides. Ugh. It's, I think this is the first painting where I've been like thrilled with the sides. <laughs> it's, sides just turned out awesome <laughs> I mean look at that it's like they're a painting in itself anyways all right and here is the dry reveal and as you can see I mean it just it, it looks like rocks asteroid belt and you can see the flow of the paint like it's just it's it's awesome I totally in love with this one I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and come check me out on Instagram Pippi paintings well Pippi underscore paintings 
we have a lot of fun there we're still doing the Instagram challenges every week for you know the Halloween um, actually this week it's a Harry Potter challenge so that's fun anyways have a great week and um, see you later bye